Hello everyone, today I want to talk about Xiaoyu's movement in Tekken 8. As we all know, she's being called the Dancing Phoenix in this game. Um, and Xiaoyu has always been known for um, dancing around her opponents, being super evasive while doing so, getting the life lead and then uh, running away, turtling away with all her moves. So I would like to show you all her options she has to create uh, these situations. So let's go over her stances and I'm gonna show you her options. Starting with her neutral stance. So the first thing to say is in Tekken 8 sidesteps got buffed. They are now much stronger than in Tekken 7, creating uh, much more space with one step and with Xiaoyu, we can do up 3 plus 4 and down 3 plus 4. This is, that's the role. In, in Tekken 7, it was actually a parry. It is not anymore in, in Tekken 8. Um, so I know some Xiaoyu players like to do sidestep into up 3 plus 4 to make them even bigger. So this is another way of making some attacks with. I'm not the biggest fan of this move, to be honest, because I feel like Doing sidesteps now in Tekken 8 is much more effective than doing this, especially with uh, having sidestep 3 always in mind. So we have up 3 plus 4 and down 3 plus 4. Then of course um, we have her stance transitions. I'm gonna count them as movement options as well. So we have back 3 plus 4 to go into rain dance stance. Also, as you can see, she is doing a small sidestep, a sidestep right, actually. Um, a lot of people, I feel like, don't know about that. She's not only turning around, she's actually doing a sidestep. And I really like to, to abuse this, especially um, after get-up situations. So, if your opponent lays on the ground and he's going for a get-up kick, what I like to do is come very close and then right before the get-up kick, I'm gonna go for back 3 plus 4 and if timed well the get up kick will whiff and I can actually launch the brain dance forward. You, you might have seen me doing that in a couple of clips maybe on, on YouTube. So that's that's very strong in my opinion. So not only can we transition into rain dance, we can use back 3 plus 4 to create whiffs, especially get up on get up situations and punish the opponent. Another option is her AOP transition, down 1 plus 2, which again, you can see it on this side better, it has a built-in side step right. We can enhance the side step by doing an additional side step right into AOP, one of her strongest tools and ways to make some attacks with. So that's very strong. And then there is her Hypnotist stance with up back 3, uh, 1 plus 2 and down back 1 plus 2. In between, we can press uh, 1 plus 2 so that Xiaoyu changes her direction. So these are her main stance transitions out of neutral. Also, we have a forward 3 plus 4. It's gonna roll to the opponent. That's a move I really like to use, especially because I'm able to close the gap to my opponent. And we can also transition into AOP while pressing down 1 plus 2. So that's, that's another strong move and it's actually kind of hard to um, punish Xiaoyu while, do, well, while she's doing the, the role. You can actually punish her and interrupt her, but you have to be really fast. Because a lot of people are falling for for this move, they try to punish it, but Xiaoyu is faster with um, forward 3 plus 4. And you can actually, she's gonna recover in crouch, so you can actually go forward sending 2. And a lot of opponents try to interrupt her, so they're gonna press, but Xiaoyu is gonna recover faster, and then we will get the counter hit launch with forward sending 2. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Alright. Other than that, let's take a look um, at her stances. Next up is her AOP stance. In AOP, we have the option to go uh, into rain dance. 
it's the same input as in the neutral stance, it's back 3 plus 4. So she has a very quick transition to her rain dance stance. I'm going into AOP, 1, 1 plus 2, a down 1 plus 2, and in AOP I'm pressing back 3 plus 4. And in rain dance I can press AOP down 1 plus 2 again to enter AOP. Um, also she has her side rolls which are actually her throws, AOP 1 plus 3 and 2 plus 4. I'm holding down to cancel the throw animation. So you can do them, you can actually go for a lot of rows in a row, which is also great because she's gonna recover and crouch. So, so we can go back to, to AOP afterwards. Or even from crouch, we can press full crouch, uh, down back 3 plus 4 to get into rain dance. Or while in crouch, we can hold down back, press 3 plus 4 once, but hold down back so she's gonna do this. And this is actually one of my favorite moves of Xiaoyu. A lot of people don't know about this move. I'm holding down back. I'm holding down back and I'm just pressing 3 plus 4 once. And as you can see, she is actually doing a sidestep. And that's, you can compare this move to her generic back 3 plus 4. But she's, this time she's doing the sidestep, a sidestep to the left. And this move as well can create a lot of evasive opportunities for you to go for rain and fall. Because it will go under some moves. Not, e not only because it's gonna step the move, but also because it's crouching, so a lot of highs will whiff, and if you're fast enough, you can go for the Rain and Fall launch. But always be careful because Rain and Fall obviously is not punishable. But that's a very underrated move in my opinion. So, again, I'm holding down back and pressing 3 plus 4 once. I can let go of uh, down back, so she will recover in Rain Dance, but I can also in between while pressing while holding down back and then pressing 3 plus 4 i can go into aop as well and from aop i can actually go into full crutch as well i can in aop press uh, down back 3 plus 4 and she's gonna do this animation as well so you can actually really confuse your opponent by doing this There are a lot of options, staying in rain dance, going back to AOP from crouch. So always keep this in mind. Um, next up from rain dance, we have um, down back, a generic down back to go back into neutral, which is great in case they are gonna press so we can go for down back into Wasani 2. It's a little bit similar to this situation, so we press down back to go back to neutral. Also, we can go for um, the Cali roll, forward 3 plus 4. And uh, into the other direction, back 3 plus 4 to roll away. Xiaoyu is kind of fast while doing this, so we can actually go for a lot of these moves. Especially if we are on the life lead and the opponent has to attack. So. Always be ready after those moves to, to whiff punish. Apart from that, we have in Rain Dance her hop and throw, which are forward 1 plus 3, forward 2 plus 4, and forward 2 plus 3. They all look the same, but it's gonna be a different throw. And as you can see, in Tekken 8, we can finally, finally cancel these throws by holding down. And again, just like with um, forward 3 plus 4, after forward 3 plus 4, we can recover, we're gonna recover in crouch and she can go for rust standing 2 for opponents who like to interrupt her. The same applies for rain dance hop and throw cancels. So you can do one hop and throw, forward 1 plus 3, forward 2 plus 4, or the third option, forward 2 plus 3. I'm gonna go for forward 1 plus 3, the 1 throw, and I'm gonna hold down to cancel it. And while cancelling, I'm gonna recover in crouch. 
So same again, I can actually go for Ross Henning 2 for example. But I can also go for AOP, I mean not like this. For AOP, there is, you have access to all the other stuff as well of course. She's recovering very, very fast, so a lot of people are gonna try to interrupt her. Especially as now she has her waning moon throw, which does a lot of guaranteed damage afterwards. So a lot of people are actually gonna try and press, so always have this cancel in mind, because it's very, very strong. Alright, what else? We also have another cancel. A new one we got in Tekken 8, it's from her Hypnotist stance, it's Hypnotist 3 plus 4, which is her high launcher. But in Tekken 8 we can actually cancel this move as well, with Hypnotist 3 plus 4 holding back. And then she's creating this crazy spin and she's gonna, as you can see, in the move list it says she's gonna recover in Rain Dance, but depending on, on the axis and the angle, Sometimes it looks like she's recovering in neutral, but let me try to show you. Because sometimes I was able to get a standing free, okay maybe not, there we go. Which is kind of weird, so with this one, because of this, um, be careful what to press after this. Because maybe you might think you are in rain dance, but actually you are in neutral and you're gonna press something you don't want to press. So always be careful with this cancel. Again, we can, after this, roll away, go for um, the AOP transition, for a throw, hop and throw. So there are, as always, a lot of options with Xiaoyu. And then from Rain Dance and also from Neutral, she has up forward one. From Rain Dance, AOP 4 is gonna be guaranteed because you are plus 12. From Neutral, it's not gonna be guaranteed. This move as well, we can cancel by holding down back. Also from Neutral. So I can actually go for an animation like this, which is kind of funny. And I hope at this point that you are noticing something because this is the third cancel where Xiaoyu is recovering in full crouch. So I think at this point you are gonna know what I'm gonna say now. We can cancel this move into launch. Wasteling 2 is very effective here as well. But we can all also of course Cancel into AOP, cancel into full crouch. So a lot of these options um, transition into each other, so that's why I guess that's why it Xiaoyu can look very crazy while dancing around because she has so many options and you can actually combine those. Which is, in my opinion, very, very fun, and if done right, it can actually help you out and create um, opportunities to whiff punish your opponent. And that's something um, Xiaoyu has as an option, but not a lot of other characters have. 